in this question a sentence has been given in direct form look at these sentences he said i must go at once now what is the correct indirect form here well the correct one is number 3 he said that he had to go at once the others are incorrect from the given options identify the tense used in the sentence welcome to the ceremony well uh, that's very clear it's in the present indefinite tense what do you call the simple present tense take the next sentence in this question six words are uh, given which are denoted by 1 2 3 4 5 6 you actually it's roman so you should read first second third fourth fifth and sixth by using all the six words each only once so you have to frame a meaningful and grammatically correct sentence the correct order of words is your answer to be chosen try by you from the given options so if you try all the combinations you will see for yourself that number 1 is the correct answer what is number 1 number 1 says is it is it not is it not what you wanted number 5 is one that is is and then it and then three not and then six what and then four you and none, then two wanted is it not what you want the others you see don't stand the structural uh, logic next sentence uh, in this question a pair of words is given with certain relationship followed by four pair of words choose the pair that best expresses a relationship similar to that expressed in the original pair so the original pair is man humanity well uh, the the relationship is that uh, huma- man is essentially invested with humanity humanity is associated with man just as fragrance is associated with flower you see you cannot rob the fragrant uh, flower uh, of its fragrance so uh, the aroma the fragrance the perfume so flower and fragrance is the correct answer number 2 well the next question in this question a sentence has been split into uh, four parts denoted as pqrs and these parts are jumbled up rearrange the jumbled parts to make a meaningful sentence well the meaningful sentence would be number 3 number 3 is the correct answer r q s p uh, look at r r is and this for the simple reason okay uh, that in a democratic setup like India majority communalism can acquire power far beyond that any minority communalism can uh, you have just got to learn uh, these things try the various combinations and see where you can make the proper sequence so the correct answer is number 3 Certain parts in the following sentences are underlined. One of the parts is an error. Identify that part from the given options. She is not one of those who is so foolish. Well, number three is the correct answer. You cannot say those who is foolish. Those is plural, and who refers to those. The antecedent of who is those, and it is plural. So you must say those who are so foolish. Who are a r e r. it's like saying i belong to those people who are poor or who are rich you cannot say i belong to those who is rich so the correct option is number 3 uh look at this question in this question there are two sentences one and two having a blank followed by four words select only one word which fills both the blanks yeah you have got to look for one word that can contextually mean different and different sentences different you see in both the sentences the company has agreed in principle to our suggestion and the equipment works on the principle of archimedes so number 3 is the correct answer right you cannot say agreed in general or agreed in basis agreed it's all incorrect uh, well look at this sentence uh, this question is given a passage you go through the passage carefully and then we come to the question proteins are classified according to number 3 that is their functions uh, you can see for yourself that the very first sentence in the paragraph you see is an answer to the question there are many types of protein molecules in the body and each type is specific to its function so the classification of proteins is according to their functions number 3 is the correct answer Uh, take the next sentence. He says in this question, each option is a pair of words. Each pair consists of words which are more or less similar in meaning. That is, they are synonyms. However, one pair uh, of words may be wrong. Select the pair which is wrong. So let us see 
uh, danger and peril, they are more or less the same. Okay, uh, indulge and deny, they aren't. Okay, indulge is uh, you may involve in something and deny is refuse. Infringe and break are similar. Luxury and pleasure are similar. So the answer is number two. Number two is the odd one out. Uh, take the next sentence. In this question, word pairs consist of words which are opposite in meaning to each other. That is their antonyms. Select the pair which consists of words which are not opposite in meaning. So, uh, most of them are opposites. Number one, three, and four. Uh, the correct answer is ex uh, exquisite and delicate. Uh, they mean more or less the same. They are synonymous. So, number two is the answer. The others are antonyms.